Hey, and welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be making waffle bowls. Waffle bowls. So if you watched one of our previous videos, I had purchased um, a Dash mini waffle maker. So we own like the big Belgian waffle makers and um, we do use it. However, I found myself still wanting to buy waffles from the store because like making a big batch of Belgian waffles is time consuming. And so I had saw a couple reviews on the Dash Mini Waffle Maker, wound up buying it. I'll link that video down below. However, I saw that they made a, the same company, Dash, made a waffle bowl maker. And of course, all I could think about was Cold Stone Creamery, waffle bowls, vanilla, sugar, butter, yum, 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 yum. And so we're gonna go ahead and test it out, let you know what we think how it works, when I buy it again, on a scale of one to 10, does it, does it, is it like a waffle bowl, like at Cold Stone, or is it like a not? <laughs> so, so here is the Dash Waffle Bowl Maker. Looks uh, very similar to my mini waffle maker. It's got like a little clamp here, you lift it up, and then on the inside, it's got all the grooves for a waffle bowl maker. And in the recipe book, it gives you several different recipes. They have like the classic waffle bowl, the pumpkin waffle bowl, the snickerdoodle waffle bowl, the chocolate waffle bowl, the yogurt vanilla bean waffle, the egg and cheese hash brown waffle bowl, the cheddar cornbread waffle bowl, the falafel waffle bowl, and the zucchini parmesan waffle bowl. So they give you quite a few recipes, which is kind of cool. Tonight, we're just gonna test out the classic waffle bowl and see how see how it is. So while we're making our batter, I'm going to plug this in um, because when you plug it in, the light comes on, it's blue. And then when it's heated up, which takes about five minutes, I think, the light goes off and it's ready to make. So I'm gonna plug this in so that while we're mixing up our batter, it is heating up. So when we're done with our batter, it's ready to go. Okay, we got it plugged in. You can see the blue lights on. And now we're gonna make okay, it. We're gonna start with our dry ingredients. We're gonna do one and a half cups of flour. One and a third cups of granulated sugar. Two teaspoons of baking powder. And one teaspoon of kosher salt. We're going to whisk those together. Okay, now we're gonna add our wet ingredients, which is half of a cup of whole milk, six tablespoons of melted butter. We've got four large eggs that I've already whisked. And one teaspoon of vanilla. and we are going to whisk this together until it is a silky smooth combined mixture. Okay, here we go. It is combined, there's no lumps, when I pull it up, it forms ribbons. It is ready to go. My sous chef says the batter is delicious. <laughs> okay, now it doesn't say to use cooking spray like the waffle maker. So just a third of a cup is what we're gonna put in there. We put it in, shut it, and let it go till golden brown. So I'm gonna check it at a minute and see if we need more or where it's at. Have you washed your hands? No. Have you have you washed your hands since you've been outside, Liberty? No. And you just stuck your hands in that batter. No. It's been a minute. Timer. Oh. 
like a few times and back the seven into ones. Okay, Mom? Mm -hmm. That's, I turned it a few times. Number four, going in. Okay, we made eight waffle bowls, eight. And when I took them out, I just put them on a cup to hold their form until they're, while they're cooling. Okay, so as I showed you, one batch of batter made eight of the waffle bowls, okay? Um, now, here's my feedback on this. As somebody who loves the Dash Mini Waffle Maker, I saw this and like I saw this, a bowl ice cream. I assumed waffle cone. Now part of that is my fault. I, cause it clearly says waffle bowl maker. So this in no way, shape or form is like a waffle cone <laughs> at all. What it is, is a waffle bowl. So imagine a, your regular waffle that you would make in a waffle maker in a bowl form. Okay. That's what this is. So, um, this is an extra appliance. I got this at a super good price. This was like uh, less than $10 at Hobby Lobby. They had it on summer clearance, and so I picked it up. I would not have paid, what do they charge for this? They normally charge 40 bucks for this. I would not have paid close to $40 for this. It's nice. I think it could be cool for birthdays or uh, morning breakfast, like if you want to put some fruit in there and some whipped cream or, you know, you want some waffles with your ice cream, but it's not a waffle bowl. Now, some of the other recipes sound pretty cool, especially the savory ones. That could be really cool with soup, but it's just an extra appliance that's going to take up some room. Do I think it's really cool? Yes. Um, it, and it's not huge. Cleanup on it isn't amazing. Um, I had to really scrub around here because if I did not, either I put enough, I didn't put enough batter in and it kind of left some holes in the side or when I put enough batter in, some ran down the sides, which was so annoying. Um, so again, cool concept, we'll definitely use it. If you hit it on sale, snatch it up, pick it up if you think you'll use it, but definitely don't pay full price. That's my two cents. However, I did link down below the Dash Mini Waffle Maker. That little guy, is amazing. Like would absolutely buy that all over again. You should buy it. Um, I linked it right here on Amazon. So you can go add it to cart, check out. It's so cute. You can make mini egos at home. And again, if you're a waffle lover, like this could all be cute, like to serve some chicken, like some fried chicken in or mashed potatoes and gravy with fried chicken. Like there's lots of different ways you could use this if you're a waffle lover. So anyway, let me know in the comments if this is something you would buy or would you pass on. And do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell, give the video a thumbs up, and thanks so much for watching.